Gamers Table. It is Monday! And hey, we are reviewing. It's Monday! The Mousquetaires du Bois. Like I said, very difficult, but fun. Components are very nice. Uh, the artwork and everything is terrific in this game. Everything, the, the illustrations, the actual quality of the piece, playing pieces and everything, very nice. This game is freaking hard on the money. Yes. Freaking hard on the what? If, if on the mini. If you are oh, the Musketeers, the it is like you said, on very, the very difficult. Because why? Is it an expensive game? <laughs> if you are the lady, I think that's what it's referred to here. Yes. Here then you have Ooh. a lot easier time in winning. So, as Ken has folded out the board here, you see the board. We have a money track here. We have the things you can buy with your money. Over here is the battle for one of the areas. Over here is embarrassing the queen. Over here is another adventure. Over here is meeting this guy. Over here is the Bastille. Over here is a bar. Over here. Oh my god! Every one of those areas you have to control as the musketeers. Or and at least manage where you're not getting totally hosed. Yes. Yeah, and it's so easy for the, the lady, the one against the many, to really screw you over and and she has very, cards. very difficult. Yes. The worst card in this game. She, she pulls out the one minute timer and says, You got a minute, all of you, to take your turns. Go. And when that timer runs out, that's it. That's all the time you had. If you didn't get your turns done, too bad. Oh, looks like I'm going to win again. Sorry. The only way for the Musketeers to win is for them to complete these four challenge cards, one after the other. And each card is loaded with hazards of various different types by the player who's playing the lady. The lady also has a deck of cards that have nasty actions of one type or another that can be played on the Musketeers on her turn. And the lady has different actions that are going to happen depending on which area of the board she secretly placed herself in. So this game has been with us for quite a while because we wanted to play it enough to stay... It can't be that hard. There's got to be a way for the Musketeers to win. Because the Musketeers have to go up here, and the only way they can actually win the game is completing one, two, three, four different adventures. All four of these. And while, while still managing the rest of the game board. Yes. Yes, and basically if you don't have enough players, you really need the maximum amount of players to win this and do it successfully or even come close because if you get uh like say three of us like we played uh, most it's just not possible to be everywhere you know and do what everything you need to do to win it's just not this is one of the one versus many games where it's really a bad idea for the many not to be many yeah you yeah. know like um, scotland yard and fury of dracula and uh, letters from Whitechapel. It's all better for the many to just be one guy controlling the strategy. Here, one guy can't do all of this. There's too many yes. things you got to keep track of. It's really fun to play a lady because you know you can mess around with the other players, and it's. I don't know how balanced it is. Again, I'm saying that because I find it's really weighted heavily in the lady's favor. If you're playing with somebody new who maybe is not very good at games, maybe put them in the lady role and then musketeers have a chance. Yeah. Maybe. You know, the thing is, the lady has to choose one of these areas to go to, but she chooses in secret. We don't know where she is, so the musketeers then declare where they're going, and as every guy goes to take his turn, so if the lady's there, ha ha, I'm there, and you must deal with whatever Rich traps room. and consequences <laughs> right. are at that location. And any one of them can cause you to lose the game. If you lose the battle for the town, you lost the game. If you lose in Paris, you lost the game. If the queen gets embarrassed, you lost the game. <laughs> if your musketeers all get killed, nope. They just lose a turn and come back. You didn't lose the game that way. But you'll lose it. Oh, it's more than just losing a turn. Losing a musketeer to death is really brutal because... Not only the out the turn they got knocked out, but the following turn they're still up, and then they come back the turn after that. Mm -hmm. It's, yeah, it's huge. <laughs> Learning it, not too hard to learn it. The rule book itself is pretty good. Uh, it is fair length, but 
a lot of it is illustration as well and examples and things like that. The yeah, musketeers like, themselves all have different abilities on their cards, different amounts of life, different places they can put their things. I suppose you were going to say the same thing, were you? <laughs> and they have different special powers they can do based on their roles. You want to take over, Ken? One thing about this is you want to improve your characters as soon as possible because most of the game, you're running around like a bunch of chickens with your heads cut off trying to prevent the lady from winning in any one particular area. Is The Musketeers, like we've said, uh, they can lose many different ways, but there's really only one way to win, and that's their four missions that they have to do at the top of the board here. I don't know if you can see it, this area up here is where all the missions will be. You have to go up there and complete these missions to win the game. But even so, you've got only a certain amount of money to start off with in the game. And it's pretty much the one person who does it first is going to spend that money. And getting that money back to improve your character at all through the rest of the game is next to impossible. Getting it, the, the money up the track, uh, it, it's... You're too busy doing other things. You can't worry about that. And once that money's been spent, try improving your character again. It's just it's not going to happen. There are other ways to improve your characters, like getting more cards to, you know, add to your combat, your swords, your rapiers. Uh, then you've got your um, ability cards like uh, panache, gallantry, erudition, and where's the other one there? Oh, did I say nobility? Nobility. Uh, those really help during the game, very handy, but still not quite enough. The as the game progresses, it get um, the lady gets stronger and stronger. Or she gets more uh, die to roll, or her die becomes stronger, and it's that much harder to beat her. But I mean, at least one person's happy with this game. Yeah, I actually never <laughs> yeah, had a real problem with being the musketeers and losing because it. It never feels like you going into the game realizing, okay, we've already lost. You go into the game thinking, oh, okay, we got this, we got this, we got this under control, we got this under control, and then it starts going and say, okay, we don't got that one under control. Somebody get that one. Oh, now this one is going. No, that was slide. Oh, oh, catastrophic fail. Oh, we well, lost. that's the thing too. The longer the game goes, the more it favors the lady because they get more and more dice for that track, for mm. that part of the board, which makes it harder and harder for the musketeers. So. <laughs> Wrapping up for Musketeer du Roi. I will give this game a 7. Theme. Oh yeah. If you've read the book, if you've seen any of the movie adaptations, even the stupid ones, the theme is there. It's the three musketeers. It's Porthos, Athos, D'Artagnan. They're all there. There's even the bartender in just in case you need an extra guy. And Richelieu and the lady are trying to mess things up wherever they can. And there's this stuff that's happening in Paris. There's this stuff that... It's all from the book. If you've read it, you know it. It's The theme is there. Definitely. If you like the book, you'll probably enjoy this just for all the theme. Easy to play. No. Not, really. not easy. I mean, easy to pick up the mechanics. Easy to win this game. No, 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 no. Yeah, if you're the lady. Really easy. Yes. <laughs> Chris plays the lady most of the time. Uh, fun to play. Yeah, it is fun to play. It is tense. You think you're doing well, and then it gets more tense as time goes on, and your back gets up against the wall, and it's a desperate thing, and it's like the book. It's all the desperate things, only we don't seem to be able to pull off the part where the musketeers win. I'm just giving it a seven. It's a good game, but it, it, it's quite the challenge. And that's really what you want. You want a game that's going to be fun to play, a real challenge, and it is. Uh, might be a little too tough, you know, people could get frustrated easily with it and maybe give up, I don't know, but the, everything's well put together, pretty well thought out, very challenging though, and it can be fun, you know, especially like Craig says, if you like the, that genre and everything, uh, period stuff, you know, Musketeers, good. I think it's... Uh a good game. I don't know exactly how balanced it is. I give the Three Musketeers game a 7. But it is definitely fun. It's uh, I like uh, how all the areas work together and how you have to try to balance. Like You're not going to do well in every area just as long as you don't lose in a particular area. The Musketeers are doing okay. <clears throat> but it is fun. It's excruciatingly frustrating sometimes, but uh, 
it's it's definitely a good game. If- this game can be quite a bit of fun. It can be extremely frustrating though too if you're playing the Musketeers, if you're playing the Lady. It's going to be uh, probably an easier and more enjoyable game. That's it for another episode of The Gamer's Table. Tune in next week for another review of another game. Because that's what we do. Don't forget, check out, uh, follow us on Twitter and find out when we're taping the shows. And you can ask us questions while we're taping. And we'll respond. And it'll seem like it's live. It's live for us, but not for you. Sorry. <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> yeah. You don't, wanna, you don't want to see us live. Really, no, it it's horrifying. Be, we're heavily edited. <laughs> yes. yes. Very <laughs> heavily. Very heavily. We would have to be editing ourselves if we went live so much with the things we would say here. Musketeer du roi, one against all, against the one. <laughs> Musque- Musketeer du roi. All right, we've got the Musketeer du roi. I don't know if I pronounced that properly or not. I'm sure I pronounced it. I've taken some French before, but anyway, we got three Musketeers. It's it's a very balanced game, sort of. It's, if you're playing as a musketeer, it's a very hard game. Playing as a lady, it's a very easy game. Playing as musketeers, you'll probably lose. You're playing as a lady, you'll probably win. Light, dark, day, night, sunrise, sunset. Elephants are moving in. Sit the fuck still, elephant man. So, uh, that's all I gotta say about that.